Hey guys, welcome to Pretty Killer Podcast. I am your host, Jordana. And tonight I have a returning very special guest, my mini me, Rosalyn. Hi guys. How are you doing tonight, babe? Doing pretty good, you know, hanging out there. Yeah, yeah, having having a fun Thursday, almost the oh, weekend. Yes. Finally. Can't wait. We we have family coming in tomorrow. Yep. First. And we're going to test our new uh blow up projector and have a spooky uh hangout out back with a fire and snacks and drinks. Are you excited? I'm very excited to hang I'm, out with the fam. I'm pumped. Uh, it seems like it's gonna be perfect fall weather oh, yeah. and I can't wait to pick out what we're gonna watch. We don't even know what we're gonna watch. Tomorrow. Hopefully it doesn't rain that yes. much. It's not it doesn't look like it's supposed to, but yeah. Yes, so that'd be fun. And then Saturday, we're going to a local haunt. Are you excited for that? Very excited. Finally get back into the haunted houses again. I know. Excited. We've been lacking this year because I'm the only one who went. Next year, you're definitely going to Hershey with us. So, yes. but we'll do um, that one. And then I, I'm thinking maybe the 27th. We might go to to Frightmare Farms. Shout out Frightmare Farms, uh, because we have to go this season. We go every single year. So he sponsors Frightmare Farms. <laughs> I I think that they have enough coverage. Oh, yeah. They're so you know amazing. Big and popular. Yes, but I think we should definitely go check it out. But anyway, so that's our fun feel filled weekend. I hope that you guys have spooky things planned. Uh, have let fun us things. yeah, let us know in the comments. But um, have what have you been watching, babe? Have we watched any? Have you watched any uh, good scary movies lately? Um, I think Dead Silence. And then today we just started Halloween 2018. Yes. Amazing. I love that movie. So good. So it's funny that you say that because today they announced that A24 got the rights to Halloween. And then after everyone was posting that A24 got the rights, which means, so do you remember how you know, 2018, the one that we watched today, yeah. Kills, the one that we went to the movie theater for. Mm-hmm. Remember we did, we watched that one? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then Ends, which we won't talk about that. That all belongs to Blumhouse. Ooh. And they don't have the rights to Halloween anymore. So the rights to Halloween went up for, for bids for big movie corporations to get them. So A24 was supposedly the one that got them. And then they announced that Miramax actually was the one, the bidder that won. Ooh. So it looks like we're going to be getting more Halloween movies. Hopefully they're pretty good. You yeah. know. What What were your feelings on the Blumhouse trilogy? What did you think? Oh, the Blumhouse? The Blumhouse trilogy, the ones I just said, the 2018 one that we like, Halloween Kills and Halloween Ends. What did you think of that trilogy? I... I have to go probably with 2018. That one is the one that you like? Yeah, just overall. I mean, wait, was it Halloween Ends? Remember, Halloween Ends was the last one that we saw that it didn't have Michael Myers in it pretty much at all. And it was that completely different story. Oh, yeah. Remember? I, I wasn't too sure about that one. I was kind of, like, confused. Yeah, I think everyone was kind of confused. And then Kills was the one where they where Michael was really brutal and that the mental – remember the, the mental patient? And yeah. that was really upsetting. I kind of I liked Kills for some reason. You did? Yeah, it was kind of good, you know? Because, like, I think how brutal he is, it's kind of, like, cool and stuff. Well, see, that's, that's I'm happy to get your take on it because you're, like, a super young Halloween fan. Me, who's been a fan of the franchise for, you know, since your age, Yeah. I like Michael when he is the shape. I like him when he um, stalks and it's just like shots of him walking and oh, yeah. you don't really see like too much gore or like brutality yeah i like it more when he's like stalking and doing that type of stuff i kind of like brutal stuff for some reason so wow we got a we got a hardcore brutal fan on our hands well so maybe it would be safe to say that we want like a mix of old school halloween and we want some new yeah brutality yeah. brutal type stuff uh, yeah what did you think of the firefighter scene in kills remember when the house was burning and Lori and allison and again deep like, yeah dark did like, you think it was it was just like it was just like like that feeling how like dark and deep it is like inside do you remember that scene though how he walked out of the house that was burning then he got all the firefighters remember he yeah, like took so them all out it's crazy i know so I think it's kind of cool. Not my biggest, you know, but it's probably, like, I don't know. 
after. Yeah. Summer. Now you like, did you like Halloween H2O? That was the one where she's in the school. She's in the school. Eyebrows? Which one? Eyebrows. And yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Eyebrows. I had to, I feel like eyebrows are very iconic in H2O. So I had to remember. Yes. But did you like that one? Yes. Okay. I did. So Miramax did that one. So hopefully did it good. we get like a, a mix of like newer mm -hmm. and then H2O. So hopefully they don't have the eyebrows again though. Oh, <laughs> they better not. He looks so eyebrows. funny. Do they have the eyebrows right there? Can I show it to you? They yeah, but this one's supposed to be Halloween too. Why does he have eyebrows? I think it's just like the definition. Go ahead, Joe. Hold it to the camera. This is that one is the um medical. Yep, yeah, the one from each or um Halloween too. It's like a record spinny thing, so he spins around. Ooh. Yes, but and the Halloween. eyebrows, I don't I think I feel like they're there, but it just they were really defined on uh H2O. So we won't talk about that next because that movie would have been utter perfection if they had the uh, 1978 old school. Movies. Oh, yeah. Yes, but or the still, one from it's, two. It's still pretty good, though. I love that. Yes, I'm glad that you... Just because of eyebrow doesn't make it, like, that bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's there's been worse masks than that, I guess, in the franchise. But yeah. we're going to... You and I are going to watch some more of the Halloweens um, coming up because we are getting closer to spooky season. So it'll be, like, Halloween marathon time. Yes. So I'm excited for that. My favorite mask and Halloween has to be the kills. Really? I like how it's like burnt and like dirty and stuff. It looks so cool to me. We are like finding out right now that Rosalind really loves kills and I literally had no idea. Do you remember we went? So fun story. Um, myself and her dad, Greg, went on uh, an adult vacation, let's say, uh, with our friends to Halloween Horror Nights the year that Halloween Kills came out. So that was 2021. Oh, yeah. Really? Remember when we went with the mule? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And so we go to Florida and we're hoping to have a good, great time. Beetlejuice was a house. What? Bride of Frankenstein was a house. What, what else was a house that year that was really big? Texas Chainsaw Massacre. What? They had some really cool like, um, original houses as well. But uh, someone ended up getting COVID. I'm not going to uh, point any fingers, but someone got COVID. And then when we were on vacation, the symptoms hit me. Oh, actually, we got the call um, it, in line for Transformers that you had COVID. So I literally had like a mental breakdown in line. I didn't even have. I, I, know, like, you, I didn't even feel like I had COVID. That I know. That's the whole point. That was funny because you literally like didn't feel good like three days before you went. And then you were like back to your normal self. So then I ended up getting COVID and I was down at Universal dying. She I felt was, like. She was definitely worse than. Me. Oh, it felt. It was. The, the worst it was the first time i got covid because for the record i've had covid wow. what four times three times i don't remember i, don't I lost it, like the sickest and then so then we come back and we rented a movie theater to, out to watch kills that because so we had a bunch of people go with us and How many people did we have quite a bit but the thing was was i wasn't a big fan of kills but apparently my daughter is and i didn't even know so her favorite mask is kills it's it's not my like my all time favorite mom. It's just like a person favorite. Okay, I'm I'm down with that. I want you to love what you love. So, yeah. no judgment judgment free zone here. But since we talked so much about Halloween, and then her and I discussed today because, as you all know, we have a four series, uh, four episode series, including Rosalind, and we decided that we did we were gonna do um, Poltergeist, which we did last week. Yep. Tonight we're not gonna. We're not going to say what, we're, what which one we're doing. Um, and then we were going to do Monster Squad and Child's Play. But we kind of thought watching Halloween 2018 for the slasher category, maybe it'd be fun to watch that one. So maybe we'll... Oh! Maybe we'll... Yeah. Maybe we'll finish... Maybe we'll rewatch it and then do that for the next episode. Yeah, I got to rewatch it and look at From the, the beginning. The tiny details. Yes. Because the beginning is my favorite part. Mine too. It's what? so intense. I know. And when the music drops, oh, I got goosebumps moving to theater because I went and saw that with what? Uncle Matt and Daddy and our friend Hillary and Andrea in the theater You're opening lucky. night. I know. The theater was, the theater, that was such a fun movie experience. The theater was packed and we went to Buffalo Wild Wings to have some drinks and um, food beforehand. So I had a little tiny buzz because I was so excited. And when that music dropped, everyone in the theater went crazy started hooting hollering and i like 
I had tears in my eyes. I had goosebumps. Aww. It was the most amazing thing because I do love 2019. I do love too. I know. It's so, like very close to me because I've like I watched it so many times. Well, I think it's cool because I love the original so much, and then you get to see a newer version of it. So this is generational horror at its best. So I love it. Um, All right, are we gonna do but I wanted to get real quick because I just when we were talking about what you watched, I wanted to see what you thought of Dead Silence. What did you think of that? I watched like okay. So I think Dead Silence was, I don't know why, but what was her name? Mary Shaw. Mary Shaw. She was kind of creepy. Wasn't she? Yeah. <laughs> like, she creeps me out. And I found Ugh. out that this was, like, the guy who directed it, James Wan, mm -hmm. didn't want to do it. And I didn't, because he thought it was, like, a joke. I thought it was what? good. I love it. And James Wan has a lot of, like, The Conjuring. He did The Conjuring. He did Insidious. He did. He did a lot. Of he did a lot of like yeah. good scary movies, but this is apparently low on people's list. I love it. And Billy, what wasn't he creepy? No, remember the scene when they're in the hotel and his eyes were like, yeah, and they turned the camera. Oh my god, the hotel was like the scariest thing. Can I say something or yeah, no? Of course, of course. The buzzer. Yes. Oh my god. What did you it's say? Just, it's just a buzzer. Like, why does it get me like so like? What did you say during that scene? Because remember the light, the red, the bright red light was going in and out, and you're like, I, I would not want to stay there. <laughs> you oh, yeah. like so serious. I'd be like, I'd be like, like annoyed. But when it started to die out, remember it was like the, yeah. Oh my god, that was so creepy. That part scared the crap out of me. And then your dad, oh, hey, careful, baby, hitting the desk. Um, your dad, he stopped the frame when she was coming out from the curtain. And and left it on the TV one night when I woke up, and I was I. Oops, that's I me. I know that's your dad for you. That's you. We're we're a trickster family, but that was really spooky. So, but so overall, did you like that silence? Yes, it was pretty good. I liked it a lot. Okay, and then we started after, and that will be another for another conversation. But we 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 began scary stories to tell in the dark. But you wanted to what? You wanted to rest your eyes. <laughs> no one wanted to play the bass. She was like, Mom, I'm just gonna rest my eyes. And then I'm like, okay, good night. Because that means you're going to bed. But anyway, so then I want to play the bass. I know. I know you you love playing the bass. She can rock the bass and the guitar. And she's always practicing. I don't know about the guitar. Guitar's pretty hard. Well, I think you could handle it. But so, you know, just to to kind of get into what our episode or mini episode is about tonight. So for our found footage, we originally she was dead set on picking paranormal activity, which for the record, we haven't seen. We You haven't seen it. I've seen it, but we haven't watched it yet. Is it, oh no. is it what? Is it pretty scary? I thought it was scary when I watched it. I think it's a staple for found footage. Oh, what's the other one? Blair Witch Project. What? Oh, no. Not that one? Which one? It's like the... the, the what? Signs? It's like the found footage with the alarm buzzer and things. Um, Do you remember that one? What was that one? Where, like, we always got creeped out by, like, the parts and um, the birds hit the window. Oh, Dark Sky. Dark Sky. Yes. That was, we should have put that on the point. That, that wasn't, too. that's not, but that's really? not found footage. Found footage is, like, um, shot through, like, a camera lens. We can do aliens next. <laughs> well, I mean, I'm always done. Actually, um, I'm going live with Sam. After this, and we're doing aliens tonight. How did you know? Well, tell Sam I said hi. <laughs> but uh, yeah, Dark Skies is really, really good. But so to describe to you, into I mean, I think people listening know what it is. But found footage is a, a subgenre that kind of peaked, that got but got sparked up again by the Blair Witch Project. And I think that at some point you should watch the Blair Witch because that movie was very important to me when I was younger with Melissa Murdy. Remember her? Yes. And we love that movie. So then Paranormal Activity came out and that was another really big found footage movie. So two thousand eighteen? No, Paranormal Activity was like two thousand and is it like two thousand and nine or ten what? or something? Yeah, it's 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 an older one. I didn't know that. But there's like a ton of paranormal activity yeah. sequels. And paranormal activity is like like up there on my list because paranormal like the horror genres yeah like paranormals like really up there you like think, that yeah and um do you like found footage yeah, style yeah, movies? yeah that's what I was because say. that's like hell house that that's what i was gonna say yeah, yeah. 
that so like that's the way it's shot and then the movie that we're talking so anyway so when um our my sister-in-law her aunt came down we showed her and Roz the 2020 found footage original from Shutter, who I wish would sponsor me because I love them so much what is it Roz the host oh it okay so i tried to sell this to greg but he said he didn't like it but i think he's lying i think he's full of it because he sat and watched the whole movie but anyway <laughs> so this movie is on my list for one of the newer horror movies that i absolutely love i think it nailed every possible checkpoint on a list of what needs to be in sound footage for it to be effective and scary hit all the dots hit all the dots so um this one was directed by rob savage yep. um and it pretty much why don't you tell them like what starts the movie like what's going on zoom call yes and so the girls and their names are you know them you okay know... so emma yep Gemma. yep Haley. caroline caroline Radina. Um, Radina and um Edward. No, and Teddy. Remember Teddy was the boy? I don't know. That was the guy that played the dad. Yes. Oh. Yes. But Teddy was Sorry, the one. Guys. <laughs> hey, you got like all of those without even having to look them up because yeah. you just re retain so much information in your amazing little brain. Not little, but big brain. But you know what I mean? Like you know, you know, tiny compact. Um, so they are on a Zoom call, mm -hmm. and they, um, uh, Haley, she starts it. Hired her friend Salen. Oh yes. That does seances over, usually like in person, but they decide to do a Zoom call because it's during the pandemic. COVID, stinky. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, they. Okay, so so the the seance starts right. Yes. And are a couple of the girls are pretty skeptical. Yeah. They don't really think that anything's, you know, whatever. And like a normal person would think, you know, because like they probably don't believe that stuff. But well, I'm a normal. Well, I'm a normal person, and I believe in that stuff. Yeah, like, I believe that's yeah. possible, you know. Um. But so Haley kind of warned the girls like to take it seriously and not to make fun and poke fun because right they were all kind of making like comments and stuff yeah. not really believing it mm -hmm. so um they 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 continue to have it or have the seance and Gemma starts to say what what after like remember Salen goes to the door to get her food and everyone thought that like she like disappeared and it was like really mm -hmm. kind of weird so then what happens with Gemma oi um doesn't she say something about her friend? Yeah. Okay. Her friend's name is Jack. Yes. Jack. Yes. So she starts like like breaking down crying about Jack. Like like this weird stuff. She starts like saying all this stuff about Jack. Yeah. And you know, saying, He was my friend. Yeah, yes. did all that stuff. Yeah, being super like, well, we think that she's being He died, you know. Yeah, we think that, that she's being telling the truth but she's what lying she's making it up liar and, alert yep and what happens when you lie you get stitches <laughs> <laughs> well i think no i think stitches snitches get stitches but you oh, wait, yeah. it's not a really good thing to lie so her karma karma comes back pretty harsh pretty harshly because so so then she um she pretends and then yeah they uh they take like a break or whatever and then what starts to happen paranormal activity <laughs> <laughs> well like like things moving rattling noises you know just all kind of like off and like creepy and weird stuff like pretty off stuff so the first thing that happened was Haley was pulled by her chair yep she got she got tumbled away like this. Right? Yes. And so like that's that that starts the the creepiness to it. And we won't we we're not gonna do like a I mean, obviously this is like a spoiler review episode because we have to talk about what happens and spoiler. But we're not gonna go into like super detail about everything that happens. So but um what what parts to you were scary? Like what what scenes stood out to you where you were like, whoa. Can I say it or do I have to like explain it first? You can say whatever you want. So, one time, Emma, 
Mm -hmm. she went into her kitchen Ooh. and she still had a face filter on because they enabled face filters and she was playing around they all being silly and um she stepped into her um living room and like a face filter was on like this it was invisible like the, it was just a face filter right there and it was making like a weird face it was that it, it was like, a clown yeah it looked like it had like makeup on it yeah. was like bright like red lips and blue and it like, looked like it was like pale face yes like a, like um a mask like a porcelain yeah. mask yeah super creepy just standing there mm -hmm. and then what happened so she grabbed some sugar and she threw it on the ground and then like wait, no, wait. Oh, wait. oh yeah Remember? yeah it started like um it wasn't that like the phone line like the noise that started making yes so cuz okay so for the older people listening which i'm aging myself because there's usually like young crowd and you know everyone else but the when you would get a phone call on your cell phone back in like the just nokia days you'd hear this dun, 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 and you knew a call was coming in so it makes that noise then what happened it starts attacking her it like so like it it was like this yeah then turned over look at her <laughs> and like the footsteps started like stepping in the sugar and then it started like attacking her and making all these weird noises like robot noises oh and then next thing you know it starts destroying the kitchen like all this clutter and all this creepy noises oh. and it was just like everything was falling off that was the scariest part the noise <laughs> terrifying it was so creepy oh, I can't stand it. oh that scene that scene was so simple and so done so well are you creeped out <laughs> just like looking around for the people that can't see it's <laughs> but it makes you feel that way because it's like such a atmospheric like you're in the dark watching it and you just can't help but look around because you're thinking is is jack here yeah. so so then salen proceeds to tell them that like once you pretend like if you lie and you make some person up it's a gateway for like a soul mm -hmm like a spirit to cross over and take shape in that person in this uh, like fake imaginative person. And that's why she tells them don't mess around, like take this seriously because once you do stuff like that, that's a no, no that opens the portal to H E double hockey sticks. The hell. Okay. Yes. So then what was another part that like, um, I can't remember her name. I don't, it wasn't Redina. Because Redina was the one with the boyfriend. The one with her dad. Oh, um. Was that, that wasn't wait, Caroline. Wasn't that, wasn't that the girl that went up, went, had the attic? Was that Emma? No, that wasn't Emma. What's that? Because Gemma was the one that. It wasn't, it wasn't Emma. It was like one of the other girls. Caroline? I think it was Caroline. Yeah, yeah Caroline, Caroline, yeah. So she goes. She, she like, hears something rattling in her attic. Mm -hmm. and she goes up, and she, I don't know if she had a computer or phone. I don't care. But she she put something up in the attic, and it still had the camera on, and everyone could see. It was her phone. Phone, yeah. yeah. And these tall, skinny, hairy, like, bloody legs. Oh. Yeah. Just like standing. You couldn't, I don't think you could see its face, but it was something definitely like part of the spirit. And yeah. it was just very scary. And I don't, they warned her, right? Yeah. I mean, it was up there. Yeah. And she didn't take it seriously. No, exactly. So that was, that part was super creepy. Yeah. And then, so all this stuff starts to happen. Teddy gets disconnected from the call. So he doesn't really know what's going on. And he was poking fun at it when he was in the call. So then eventually he gets, he gets brought back into it like his phone and you see the doll that the, the puppet that he had in the beginning oh yeah remember that and he tried to yeah scare everyone. yes try, try to scare everyone but then it turned out that the spirit was there and then his whole scene with his girlfriend that was intense yeah like we won't we won't spoil all of it but yeah. th that was intense and then so we get to like stuff happened with Redina. then we get to like the last of the movie which was one of the most like intense scenes because Gemma goes over to Haley's yeah she tries to save I think she was locked up in some no she was locked in like her bathroom or something yeah because she didn't want to attract any spirits yeah so she was just hiding in there 
and she and everyone wait everyone was dead right yeah and no one could stop her so she just went over to her house and as she should because it was pretty much her fault that all this stuff happened yeah. and she went over and she went the, she tried to creep her creep, creep. and um i think she made it to the bathroom mm-hmm. and they were hiding somewhere i think on the under like a desk or something like a table no it was the workroom yes okay they're hiding under the desk and when they thought the coast was clear it wasn't clear there was the spirit there yeah and it was boy terrifying so then they're going and so the ending though i think is one of the best shot and the best way to end the movie was them yes and Haley had her polaroid camera because remember when she would hit the button yeah it would flash so like the buildup is they're walking down the hall and she's clicking it she did it like what three times (laughs) <laughs> she's scared what is he doing i don't know he's like is there something up there? don't worry he'll protect us if there is so but then she hits it the last time and you remember the it's like it that yes and then the and then it's like zoom call ended and then it shows at the end yeah face so y'all you know, the face scared the crap out of me the first time i watched it because i've seen this scared movie the booty. yeah i've seen this movie like six or seven times because i think it's so good but so did that part scare you yes yes Yes. um so you know granted this is like a a small shorter recap because it was a 56 minute movie so we didn't really have like too much to go off of but we knew that it was one that she Mm -hmm. definitely wanted to talk about yeah um was there anything else that you wanted to add into like the stuff that we um like scenes that are memorable to you see uh things that scared you um i mean if not we can just we can probably not i don't know we pretty much covered all the ground because like we don't want to talk about it too much because for the people who haven't seen it we don't want to completely ruin it for you but you you, sorry people you got to check it out like it's such a good movie so if you are scared it's okay (laughs) yes if you get scared it's done its job and it's okay because it's a movie and you know you got your protector here mom will never let anything happen to you so i got you girl but but on the other hand we won't be doing seances inviting fake uh ghosts in here we don't we don't mess with ouija boards and that type of stuff ouija board is crisp yes so i I asked you last time um out of one to ten stars what would you give host (gasps) ten we hit a ten already i love because it's on my list for I love it. Makes me so excited. Makes me so happy. I am loving that movie. Yes. So the next episode I think that we're going to do, we will probably do Slasher. And it'll either be Child's Play or it'll either be Halloween 2018. Actually, I'm maybe scared. maybe we'll have a vote. Maybe we'll have <gasps> a vote in the comment section. So. We will have a vote, and we'll see what our pick's going to be for the slasher. Yeah. So, to recap, last week, Rosalind gave Poltergeist a 9.8. This week, for host, we got a 10. So, what's going to be next week? You'll have to tune in to see. So, Roz, is there anything that you want to say to everyone that's listening? Please vote. Please vote. And also, thank you for taking the time to check out our mini-series, because we're having so much fun. Mm -hmm. And prepping and getting like you know ready for it. It's really just happy been, doing it. Yes, I'm happy to spend even more time with you doing this. Yeah. Yes, but um, it is bedtime, and what? yeah, because I got eight. I gotta hop on my live to do my alien. Well, I have a snack. What? I want a snack. Oh, well, okay, Jasper. <laughs> Not have a snack. Can I just have one snack? <laughs> um, so tell everyone um, tell everyone goodbye because we're signing off goodbye and have a spooky season guys yes and to everyone that's listening thank you for tuning in again and make sure that you are liking subscribing rating please go to Spotify um, Apple iTunes um, and please rate the show um, give give Roz five stars because she's been one of the best, if not the best guest on the show. So please rate. And if you're not following me already, Instagram, Twitter, 
TikTok, YouTube, uh, Letterbox, and even on Letterbox. So make sure that you're following. And please follow for me and my mom. Yes. And we just hope that you guys have a spooky night and we'll see you next time. Bye guys. Bye.